Peace, family. I love you. I love you. I hope you guys are happy and healthy today. It is a garden update. Yay. <laughs> today, we are going to start in the front of the house because I know you guys are probably like, what happened to those aloe vera, girl? They were big. We moved those to the front because we were running out of space in the back. So here. This one, I moved or I repotted. And I got this from Dollar Tree. I love it because it makes it easier to move because it has the handles. And then since I reuse soil, these are two volunteer plants that just popped out. Their seeds were in there, and I guess these were the conditions they wanted to grow in. So this one is a volunteer kale, and that one's a volunteer spinach, I think. And then Big Bertha <laughs> back here. Oh, somebody broke a piece of birth i'm gonna have to put this on somebody's skin or face or something but she's up here looking happy and healthy she would definitely be going into the ground whenever we move so that's all that's in the front let's go to the balcony see what's happening out there I just to show you guys the updates on what's been going on back here. It is going to be a little bit less because we're moving soon. So we're not planting as much, but things are still producing and um, things are still happening back here. So it's really exciting and we're learning a lot, which is the point is to learn and to eat what you grow to take your power back. Amen. So. We'll start over. <clears throat> Here is our kale. And I pick off of these to cook um, every once in a while. So this is probably smaller than they would be. I think I'm going to repot this one. And the rest of them, we're going to plant around the neighborhood for the homeless. We want to leave a little piece of our garden for others. So we're excited about that. Up here, I don't know if you guys remember my sweet potato slips that I planted, but look at this beauty. Just thriving, stretching on over. It's looking really, really good in there. Our avocado still looking happy and healthy. We will, um, when we move, we're just gonna dig everything out. So we'll get all the potatoes. Hopefully there'll be sweet potatoes down there. And then we'll pull these out and put them in pots to move so we've got two more sweet potato slips there and then i moved this fish tank over because it was getting rained in too much and it doesn't have drainage so i don't want too much water going in there because it's not draining out but we've got some kale i'm going to separate these soon and we've got some beets in here too um this might not grow anything. It has been through so much with the rain and cold and getting drowned out. I was able to save one cayenne pepper and two eggplants from here. They're inside because I, I took them inside and repotted them and I'm trying to harden them off. So they only come out like an hour a day and then two hours the next day and then three hours the next day. These are pineapple guava. When we went to the nursery, there was a smashed one there and the lady let me have it and I took it and I took the seeds out and I planted them. So I hope I get a tree out of those. These two are avocados as well. They both have been moved recently. So they're kind of recovering from that, but they also both still have some new life in there. I'm gonna wipe my screen, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Hashtag real life. Just making sure it's as clear as possible. There we go. Maybe it wasn't wiping the screen, but it's creating some new little buds. When we move them, we put them in citrus and avocado uh, food soil. This one's hard to see because it's all dark, but here we have carrots and our broccoli. My hubby, he wasn't really hopeful about the carrots. But y'all see that new life busting out? We had to thin them out a little bit so they'll have space to actually grow. You know, fat carrots. And uh, gardening is all about patience. So we're 
we're having that. <laughs> but the broccoli looks beautiful. Look at them. I can't wait to taste them. I'm going to measure how far apart these are because I believe that this baby would be bigger if he had a little more space. He's getting a little overshadowed by this one, but I'm still very happy with how they look. And then check out my compost in place. This is all going to be great soil later on. I put some spinach in there that had went bad. Um, and then I put dry leaves and soil there and I water through there. So when I water it, the nutrients also come out and water this bed. So it's really good for the plants and it's not a big compost. These are also broccoli. These are purple sprouting broccoli. I don't know if you can see the purple tint that the stem has. <clears throat> But we planted those seeds in December. And these are squash, spaghetti squash. They did survive out of that egg carton. And they look really good. Only one of them didn't make it. So there were four, but now there's three. And they got their little trellises. So they can climb up if they like. This is spinach, the only surviving spinach. Spinach shall not be moved. When you plant your spinach, put it where you want it to go. Because if you move it, it's going to die. That's my experience but you guys may have a different one but i'm just warning you now like don't be surprised if they die <laughs> this is a gorgeous aloe vera with a baby in there i'm not gonna separate that baby probably for a while so we have beets in this pot and beets in this pot these beets were planted before those but i think that these are a little overcrowded so their leaves they're beautiful but they're smaller than these these seem like they're really thriving and they're gonna give us some good big beets but I'm not complaining it's all about learning that back there is a citrus I'm not sure what kind that my son wanted to plant and look at the pomegranate it looks so beautiful it had lost all of the leaves before you know because it was cold and stuff but spring is a coming so it is just springing out all of these beautiful new leaves, new life. It's super a duper exciting. My husband's super excited because he loved his pomegranate, babe. And look at Mia's flower. It's finally deciding to give us a flower. We have patiently waited and it was not in vain. So that's her little planter with the two flowers. The other one isn't budding yet, but this one is gorgeous. And I thought it was gonna be purple because of how it looks at the top. But it's this beautiful, sunny color. And look at Diva, y'all. She got a new seat. She's getting bushier. She had powdery mildew, and I feel like I'm getting a good hold of it now. I cut a lot of it out, and I've been spraying her with neem oil um, often. And I feel like she's doing a little better. You know, patience and time. And here we have a sugar cane. It hasn't popped all the way out yet, but it does have a node that's growing and some ginger. We're just trying it out. I know that's a pretty small space for those. Here we have scarlet kale. There were three in this pot and two of them died when we moved them. So I planted another seed like right around here and I hope that one springs out, but I am in love with the colors of this kale. Can you guys see like how it's like purple veins? Ooh, they're beautiful. That is the same. Oh, we planted these November. Waiting for some cabbage in here and collards in there. Sometimes the seeds have to wait until it gets warm enough how they like it to go ahead and sprout out. And we had a lot more of these purple bush beans planted, but um we had like cold and rain like crazy weather for san diego i'm definitely not complaining but i think my plants were like okay we're not used to this so i tried to bring them in and i tried to you know hold them up it was windy but these two made it so they'll give us some beautiful bush beans sometime soon they are um blossoming which is beautiful. I love the purple veggies. Um, and gardening is not just about the eating, even though that's a big part of it. For me, I, I get a lot more from my garden. It feeds my soul as well as my belly. 
This is a citrus that my son wanted to plant. This one is a sunflower that my daughter planted. This mint will be moved today. I think she's root bound. She needs more space. Mint loves to stretch out. So I'm going to cut all those dry leaves off. I actually like the dry leaves in my room. It smells so, so good. It's like potpourri. This is my son's plant. I don't know the name of it, but he loves it. As you can see, he puts all his stuff in there. <laughs> this is a bell pepper that we planted last season. And I was almost going to put it out, but... If you can see down there at the bottom, it's got new life. So I just moved it instead of putting it out. These broccoli, I thought were like the broccoli over there. But they are not. They started spreading out. So I was like, okay, maybe they're broccolini or sprouting broccoli. And then bam, yesterday I realized there's a flower. And now look how many flowers. So I think I might let this one go to seed. But I'm going to clip the rest of them off and see, do we like how they taste? Um, do Should we save the seeds or what? You can also eat the greens, but I was really waiting on those florets. But either way, I think they're doing great. I think next time we plant them, we'll give them more space. As you can see, this baby is way smaller than everyone else in here. I think she needed a little more space. And this is another compost in place with food scraps, um, dead leaves, and a little bit of soil. This was the first tomato that had ever produced for us. And it was looking like it died. But look at it now. It has not died. It looks beautiful. It's even f getting flowers again. So I'm super excited um, to get some more, some more tomatoes from this baby. And I think sometimes just leave your plants alone. They may come back. You know, it did get cold and rainy for a little bit. That's a basil. But she came back strong. These are carrots. These carrots were planted before these. So I don't have much hope for these. But I'm thinking these are looking pretty good. We planted them from seed. And I think carrots just take a while. Um, I've got a tomato I got to pull off of here today. And neither one of these plants is going to be pulled out yet. As you can see, this one is creating new life. So I'm going to let it do that. I've got a succulent here. This is where our herbs, like our basil, parsley. That's a citrus. I'm not sure what kind. Some succulents. Cactus. Down here is a spinach. This one looks good because he has never been moved. <laughs> That's a pretty basil. And I finally got lettuce to grow, you guys. Can you believe it? That's crazy. <laughs> We do have an orchid over here, no flowers right now, and a money tree that's only partially alive. He looks kind of sad right now, but that's about it, you guys. I did make a compost out here, and I'm trying not to hit the 15 minutes, but I made a compost in this bucket back here. It's just layers of, uh, the first layer is like total paper dead leaves and then and then your food scraps and then another layer of brown stuff and then food scraps brown stuff and then soil on top and i turn it once a week and that's going to create beautiful soil um nutritious soil for our plants to grow in so let me know you guys if there's anything else that you guys would like to see from us i will try to do these at least once a month um, I hope you guys enjoy them. I hope it brings life and uplifting to your day. And happy love day. I love, love, love you guys. There would be no Omeka's Earth Gems without you. So we appreciate you connecting with us. And um, yeah, sharing your spirit with us. So I hope you have a joyous day. Love on yourselves and your loved ones today. And just take good care of yourselves. See you later. Peace.